In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everybody. And we wish you all a very happy and blessed Easter. And we begin this sacred day by turning to God our Father and asking him to fill us with the life of his love and healing and blessing. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. God has destroyed death forever, and so today we offer him glory and praise. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, has conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant that as we keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, we may rise to eternal light. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he would be visible not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. 
This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the, this day, is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, see what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with Him in glory. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloth there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloth there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, at the beginning of this week, I began to prepare for Easter Sunday. And as I tried to write a homily, somebody came into my office and gave me a sketch. And in that sketch was the Blessed Mother holding the baby Jesus. And then in the other part of the same page was the Blessed Mother holding Jesus, having been taken down from the cross. And it was so evident that Mary, who was holding the baby Jesus, was holding the baby Jesus, God made man, who had come to dwell amongst us. And it was equally clear that the Jesus that she was holding, having taken him down from the cross, was that same God made man. And that brings us to Good Friday, where God made man, destroyed death forever. And I speak of death in two ways. He destroyed the power of sin to break up our relationship with God. From the blood of the hands and side of Christ flowed the love and the pardon and the peace of God. And once and for all, the power of sin to destroy our relationship with God had been overcome. And God and goodness has vic 
victory over sin. And the second death that was overcome on that day was the fact that the Roman soldiers were able to crucify the body of Christ, but they were not able to kill the divinity of Christ. And in that, God is showing us that our human bodies will someday give up. But the divinity, that relationship that he has with us, will not die with our bodies, but will rise like on Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday is the celebration of God's life over death. God is alive in us today because of Easter Sunday, and we will focus on God alive in us when we celebrate Pentecost Sunday in a few weeks' time. And we celebrate today not just God with us now, but God with us forever. And we will focus on that as we celebrate Ascension Thursday. And so Good Friday and Easter Sunday are such important and special days in our life that the word we use to describe them is celebrate. Celebrating a new life with God for all of us. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand for the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. We pray that we may see in this Easter celebration our new life with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may see in Easter a deeper acceptance of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who were newly baptized, made their first communion, and were confirmed last night, that God may continue to guide and bless them on their spiritual journey in life, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved family and friends who have died, that we may enjoy this day of happiness with them in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions. For these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, these are our prayers and our thoughts. We ask you to hear our prayers and grant the needs we prayed for through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away our iniquities and cleanse us from our sins. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice will be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, and he broke the power of death and revealed our resurrection. And so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We have our new life in God, both humanly and spiritually. Let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We are God's children. We pray to our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you, brother. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
peace. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, look upon your people with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by these wonderful mysteries, we may come to the glory of our resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now the Easter blessing. May he restore you to eternal life, and in the resurrection of his only begotten Son, endow you with the prize of immortality. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you celebrate with gladness the Paschal Feast and exult in the Spirit of Christ. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, descend upon you, and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.